This is a tutorial for Cheat Layer Desktop for Mac. I'll go over how to install at the end of the tutorial. After you register your API key, you get access to this file menu to control your automations. And if you click Start Recording, it'll minimize everything to record your actions and your keys or keystrokes. So I'll just go over a quick demo right now. You also support shift and backspace. Okay, and after you've completed your automation, you can hit escape, which is a hotkey to generate your no code automation graph. And then that pops up immediately. We could replay this now, but I'm gonna show you something interesting. So let's make this a little bit harder to automate by scaling things down. <clears throat> And I'll illustrate how Cheat Layer Desktop uses a unique, robust, new computer vision based targeting that uh, doesn't basically uh, it use, doesn't use any code or selectors to target elements on the page, but rather it uses images to target elements on the page. So this makes it scale, rotation, and translation invariant. Uh, and let me just go over a quick demo so you understand what that means. So I scaled everything down to make it a little bit harder to replay. And here we go. Okay, so the profile button is no longer there, but what's happening is now it's searching the screen using computer vision, even though it's scaled down to find the closest match. There you go. And now it's going to continue on with the automation. Now the reason this is cool is because you're able to develop robust, distributable, and future-proof automations that will be scale, rotation, and translation invariant uh, across platforms. So for example, you can make an automation on your Mac or Windows, you can distribute it to your friends, and it'll still work on their different resolutions, different machines. You can also basically automate any browser, any program across Mac, Windows, Linux now. So uh, the possibilities are almost endless. Amazing. Next, we're also training or adding a way to train your own custom AI machine learning agents uh, using a, a set of about a hundred images. You can basically train machine learning to detect that, for example, that that tweet button will always be a tweet button. Even if Twitter decides to change the design slightly, we can give it a history of all the tweet buttons that have ever existed and we can train a model that you can inject into your automations they will basically, basically it'll be future proof. Uh, we're really, really excited about this cool new uh, frontier and uh, the bleeding edge and computer vision and whatever we're going to be, be able to develop next because this is uh, where I have the most experience personally so I can basically bring in all the state-of-the-art research and computer vision into desktop RPA. Uh, pretty exciting. So since I can basically build anything I just need you guys to point me in the right direction. So next what we're going to do is uh, the next big use case for cheat layer is scraping. So as soon as we get an OCR based scraping into desktop automations, uh, we'll basically be able to do the two big main use cases, which is filling out forms like I just did and scraping data across any program, any operating system. Uh, very much excited about this. Okay, so I promised I would show you guys how to install this. So go to cheatlayer.com <clears throat> and log in. Go to the desktop RPA link in the navigation. Click the Mac icon there. And that's going to download a zip file. Unpack that zip file. And then in the folder that you get, there will be this executable called Cheat Layer and you'll have to click open. The first time you open this it's probably going to take a while it may take a minute or so but uh, every time subsequently you, that you open it it'll go much faster and you'll basically be presented with a window like this and when the first time you open it you'll actually you won't get access to the file menu 
it, there'll be a pop-up here asking you for you to enter your API key. To get that API key, go back here to desktop.com slash RPA and go to step two, basically API key here and copy your key and paste it into here. Once you do it the first time, you won't have to keep doing it and cheat layer will open faster each subsequent time. We have this new uh, cool new uh, drag and drop interface. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in. So each step now has like this, you can actually control where things go and you can like uh, remove interfaces and things like that. And we'll actually make that relevant for building automations. We'll let you build these things like a, a legitimate drag and drop interface. I know that's been um, a big request on our roadmap. All right, cool. That was pretty exciting. Thank you guys.